federal safety investigators are today looking into the deadly crash of Amtrak's California Zephyr train and a tractor trailer. It happened Friday at a crossing in a rural area about 70 miles east of Reno, Nevada. Arietta Bennett of our Reno affiliate KTVN has more. It started as a routine trip from Chicago to the Bay Area, but by 11.30 yesterday, it was anything but routine when this Amtrak train was hit by a semi-truck, killing at least five, hospitalizing dozens more, and leaving hundreds with a story they'll never forget. We've just lost all our luggage now. We're here for another three weeks. Oh, it's still all on the train. Oh my gosh. At least we're okay. Two of the train's cars actually caught fire, sending a massive plume of smoke in the air in the vast open space that hasn't seen a crash like this in 20 years. Now it's the waiting game, with the National Transportation Safety Board set to start their investigation today. There is uh, a lot more discussion that the NTSB is obviously going to have. Um, they are actually on their way out here, and uh, once they get here, they'll ask a lot more of those detailed questions. But even as we wait, more details are emerging. The gates are in a down mode, so therefore the, uh, the assumption would be that the gates were functioning at the time. For CBS News, Ariana Bennett, Trinity, Nevada.